Okay guys, it's Monday the 2nd of July and I've just been triggered into a long position on the FTSE 100. So I've not done a live trade for a few weeks. Uh, basically I was moving house and um, the house was upside down as we were doing some work to it. Um, I just I just couldn't do the, the videos. So hopefully now I can get back to posting these videos once per week. The first trade that I take each week, it is Monday at, what are we at, 8.30. Now we are testing at a level that I'm looking at today as fairly key support. So the key levels, um, I actually write key in them each morning. Let's zoom up a little bit. The FTSE coming into pre-market was in a strong trend downward. We then had a very strong bearish candle at 8.15 and it slammed straight down into this key level of support. So what I'm looking at is potential now well first of all the FTSE is relatively bearish coming into today that's what I was going over this morning um, let me just zoom down a little bit and I'm really looking at this as I'm just looking for some sort of a bounce back up in toward the the zone up above if we look at the Sunday analysis video what we can see is the market is testing at this level of support that we went over now the FTSE has been in a fairly strong downward movement. And what I was also looking at was potentially we we're starting to see a little bit of a squeeze. I'm also, I'm just keeping my eye on this trade. It's quite difficult to make the video <laughs> and also manage the trade at the same time. What I'm looking for is around about sort of eight to 10 points um, on this position. So the market has been trending down. We've came into this key level of support. The way I identified this level is by looking at the previous swing point right here. Um, the reason I like this swing point is because not only have we put in the resistance, but we've then pressed up and we've came down and we've tested it as support before we bounced. Um, if there are two recent tests as resistance and as support, for me that's what gives me the clue that potentially it's gonna react, maybe not as a key level, but at least some sort of a bounce. It's, it's, it's more likely. So when the FTSE dropped down today, any sort of signal I was happy to get into this long position. Now what we're doing is we're pressing up, we're seeing a little bit of rejection coming in. Um, let me just measure this, two and a half. Yeah, so I'm really looking for the market to press back up into this whole previous swing point up here. If we can see it, if we can see the market bouncing up to those levels, um, I will just take the profits and call it a day. Let's see how this market reacts. Okay, so the trade is bouncing around somewhat. Now, what I get asked quite a lot from people, um, especially people who are just starting out with their trading, is how do I sort of manage the trade? How do, or how do I manage my emotions when I'm in the trade? Because what you can see is when the market is moving up, when the market is moving down, your trade's popping into profit, it's popping into loss. You sort of run through this psychological thing where um, you, you're very quickly flipping between this trade is going to work out, this trade is going to lose. Well, the first thing is that follows you through your trading. That's not going to change. Um, you're always going to be looking at it. You're always going to be thinking it's going to win, it's going to lose, it's going to be a good day, it's going to be a bad day. There's nothing you can really do to avoid that. It's just, it's just part of how our mind works. But what I do is, well, the first thing is, before I get into the trades, I know exactly what it is that I'm looking for and exactly what it is that I'm doing. Um, so that sort of takes away the the part where you have to sort of think as you're doing it, you know, oh, what do I want to do now? The, the market's doing this and I'm not really sure, should I stay in the trade, should I exit the trade? So you have to have your plan set before you get in. If you do that, then all you have to do is follow that plan. So you should have a detailed plan um, and then if it doesn't work out, it's just part of trading and you are following your trading plan because there's no way to avoid um, trading losses. All of us have trading losses. But you just have to understand that having a loss isn't, it's not a negative on you. It's just part of your trading plan. I mean, I know watching this and it's starting to break down once again. The market's in a fairly bearish movement. Um, and my mind's telling me, come out of the trade. Just just cut this trades early. And that's, what's, that's what happens to everybody. But the thing is, 
I have learned over time that if I do that, all that's going to happen is I'm going to lose consistently. Um, and by losing consistently, I mean losing money consistently. Um, and there comes a point when you're learning to trade that you either continue to do that and then have to stop trading, or you continue to do that and then you hit this brick wall and suddenly you have to stop and think, you know, this isn't working. Um, I can keep butting my head against this brick wall or I can turn around and I can try something different. And that's the only difference. Um, if you are a beginner who's struggling, you just need to make your trading plan um, and not only your trading plan, but before you get into a trade, you have to have a trade by trade plan. And then that takes the, the decision making out of your hands. And then all you have to do is click your mouse when it's time to click your mouse and do what you're supposed to do um, at each stage. So it's a Monday morning at 20 to 9. Now, obviously, the nicest types of trades for me come on a Monday morning early because then it means you're finished for the day. Everyone else, they go to work, um, you know, they're gonna be, or most people, they're gonna be sitting in an office, or they're gonna be on a building site. On a building site, that's what I used to do. Um, years and years ago, I was a builder, I had a um, building firm, and the Monday morning was sort of that day where you're like, ah, oh, the weekend's over, I need to sort of push through this entire day, I've got the whole week in front of me. With trading, the, the Monday morning, you can have that trade sometimes on a Monday, I don't want to jinx it, I want to touch wood. <laughs> you can have that early morning trade and you can be finished, um, you know, by sometimes 10 past eight, half past eight. That's one of the reasons I love trading. And that's one of the reasons why I forced myself to start following a proper plan rather than making decisions on the fly, making incorrect decisions and losing over and over and over again. Um, it's also one of the ways that I sort of took the, the greed out of the trading because when you're in a trade also, if this market moves up into let's say eight points and that's my profit target, what it's, what's easy to, to do is when you get to eight points, you start thinking, I wanna hold this for 10 points. I like, I like the sound of 10. It's a nice round number. It's a, it's a solid figure. Why am I why am I leaving this at eight? Everyone says, um, you know, run your profits. And then what happens is instead of going up to 10, it drops back down to six. And then when it gets to six, you start saying something, something like, okay, that was a stupid decision. If it goes back up to eight, I'll exit the trade. And then it goes down to four. And then it goes down to two. And then it goes down to your break-even level. And it's that break-even and you're like, oh, well, there's no point of exiting now. I need to get something out of this trade because I've just given away eight points. And then it comes down and then it stops you out. Um, by having a, a definite plan and just following that plan, it takes all of that nonsense away from you. Um, and all you have to do is just follow your trading plan. So the market hasn't really gone anywhere as yet. It's still testing at this 7546 level. Um, not really seen a strong or bullish bounce as I was hoping. What I was really hoping for, obviously, is just it to come down, hit in with the pin bar, bounce up, retest, and then the rejection coming back into the market. Um, I'm still happy to be in the trade. We're still testing at that key support level, not giving me any key bearish indications as yet. And as I've mentioned, with that strong move down, especially coming into a Monday, um, I'm happy to look for the bounce. You know, the market closed on Friday way up here. So we have made a huge move down pre-market. And all that means is there's a potential there for sellers to be taking profits. There's a potential there for um, buyers to look to try and press that market back up toward um, the, the close price, the low price from Friday. It doesn't always happen. It's just a little added confluence um, to add into your sort of story that you're building uh, with the trade. Okay, guys, so there's not a lot else to go over. So what I'm gonna do is just let the trade run um, if anything else happens, if we start pressing up, if we start pressing down, uh, I'll come back on the video and we'll have a look and we'll talk through exactly what is going on. Okay, so the FTSE is just starting to bounce. We're at seven and a half points now. As I've mentioned, between eight and 10 points is what I am looking for. The trade is open at the bottom right of the screen. I'm just gonna get ready to close this out. Okay, done. Uh, so we're at about 10 to 10 and a half points um, on the trade. I will need to check at, we were at 41 pounds a point. So very nice trade to start the day and to start the week. 
Um, the main thing to take away from not the, only this trade, but all of the trades that I post up, the reason I'm doing it is to try and show you that, first of all, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> you don't have to be special or have this you know, inbuilt talent to be a trader. You just have to be willing to do what it takes. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. You have to be willing to put the work in. Um, if you look at decisive trading, underneath decisive trading, it says master yourself, master the market. Now that's not just a catchy slogan. Um, it's because that's exactly what I had to do in order to start trading effectively. So everything I'm trying to do is sort of get across the journey that I had to take and the journey that I still take. I shouldn't say that I had to take. There's not this sort of switch that just flips and you're suddenly a trader. It's an ongoing process. Um, but if you want to get there, you have to be willing to do what it takes. And what it takes sometimes is being uncomfortable. As a trader, it's pretty much all the time. <laughs> You're either bored sitting watching the charts or you are uncomfortable being in a trade most of the time. That's the life of a trader. So we are at 10 to 9. It's a Monday morning and uh, that's going to be me finished for the day. Okay, guys. So as always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a great trading week. I'm James Orr and thank you.